Welcome to Postscript. Here we hope to answer your questions and help you dig deeper into the messages and sermons at FaithBridge by talking with the teacher of the day. Hello and welcome to Postscript. My name is Adam McIntyre and I am here with Pastor Ken Warline, who just finished up the series on salt and light. And I have a few questions for, here, for him today. Uh, thank you so much for being here with us. Uh, my first question um, was about actually your first point that you made about how evangelism is not so much about you, that God is very much involved, that we are just the messengers. And so let me ask you though, do we have any responsibility in how we deliver that message. Yeah, sure. Well, right. Let me answer in two ways. <clears throat> we have a responsibility to play our role. If we don't show up, then it's that's not going to happen. So, so we don't want to totally think in passive ways. Jesus said, "You go into all the world." So, yes, we, we've got that role. And then, as I tried to illustrate there is a sensitivity that we're seeking to uh, f f be alert to mm -hmm. that has to do with where certain people are in their journey right. and what's the soil of their heart like and what are they going through. Mm -hmm. if, if it's a person who is in a season of suffering, I, I'm going to be very different about talking about G I'm going to, I definitely am going to put in a good word for the hope that he brings and the promise that he brings, but that's going to be different than if I'm talking to a, uh, a young athlete, mm -hmm. uh, who's feeling good and strong and, but proud and, and maybe still doesn't realize, uh, you need a savior too. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you about this. And so we're trying to and that's what I tried to illustrate even just with some of the different kinds of questions that can lead conversations in different ways. Right. So we're, we're trying to, we're, we're being faithful to show up and to be participants as the Lord's mouthpieces, as he's nudging us and as he's prompting us. And then we're seeking to, uh, you know, adapt, um, not the truth, the truth stays the same, but the way that we say that. Right. So you're trying to cater the message to particular audiences just to make it more relevant for them. Perfect. Okay, very yeah. cool. And in your second point, you uh, you said that it's not about our presentation really, it's more about the preparation of uh, the heart. hearer's heart. Yeah. And so is there anything that we can do to help prepare others' hearts for the message? Well, <clears throat> yeah, sometimes we wish we could do more and just sort of get inside of them and flip the switch, but it doesn't work that way. We can pray. And throughout scripture, you see, um, you know, Jesus exhorting us to be in prayer. Paul, who would exhort the Christians, I want you to be praying for this and that this message will uh, be received. And so mm -hmm. I think that's the most concrete, proactive thing that we can do that somehow in the mystery of God's grace and the, just the way he works, there's a... Uh, a transaction that's happening in the prayer realm. And so we're just praying God soften his heart, soften his heart, soften his heart, soften his heart. Because ultimately only God can soften the heart. Absolutely. Um, though sometimes we really wish we could, we can't do it. And then a lot of people, I think whenever uh, they get the idea in their head of going out and evangelizing, of spreading the good news, um, their biggest fear is being met with hostility. Sure. And so what happens when we go out there and we preach the, the good news and then we are met with that hostility? What should we do from there? Well, that, that's where we go back to, to where we started in the message. Remember, it's not about you. Mm -hmm. It's really not about you. And you remember even Jesus, when he sent out the disciples, he, he said an interesting thing. He said, you're gonna look for he was sending him into these different villages and he would say, you look for a man of peace, a person of peace. That is somebody who is a little receptive and maybe they say, well, come on in and you could even stay here, which was customary in, for hospitality in those days. He said, so start with the, with the person of peace, but not everybody's gonna be a person of peace. And so you will be met with hostility. What did Jesus say in that situation? He said, in those situations, you'll just have to shake the dust off your feet. Move on. Don't quit. Right. 
just move on and keep knocking and you're going to find a person who is a man of, who is a person of peace who will give you inroad and you can start in with them and then he'll have relationships and he'll want as he comes to know Christ he'll want those people to come to know Christ and and on we go from there very nice well pastor Ken thank you so much for being here and thank you all for tuning into postscript this week we will see you all next week thanks for joining us for postscript Help us keep the podcast interactive by submitting your questions during the morning services. Learn more at faithbridge.org slash postscript.